they completely forgot the freckles on this figure. How? How? What the heck is up you guys, Animated Heroes here, back with another action figure review, and this time it's of this huge guy right here, Prompto Argentum, my favorite character from Final Fantasy XV, and it's a Play Arts guy, as you guys can see, the box is huge, and that's why the whole thing isn't on the screen, because my setup area is just not big enough for these size figures but anyway i'm going to try to cram everything on the screen the best that i can hopefully my lighting and everything is good i think it'll be better after we take a look at that sexy packaging but with that said before we get into anything let's go ahead and take a look at that sexy packaging now, of course, because it's Prompto, it is automatically sexy packaging. But uh, with that said, you got the warning right there. Choking hazard parts, not for children under three years. I don't know what that is right there. I guess that's some kind of logo for the brand, whatever. Cool image of Prompto right here. You can see him. I want to say he's in Lestalem. I'm not sure. I don't have all of the places memorized yet. But um, if you know, let me know. At the bottom, you got Final Fantasy 15 right there, Play Arts Kai, Prompto, Argentum, a bunch of stuff at the bottom that doesn't matter right there. That doesn't matter right there. Nothing on the side other than Final Fantasy, Play Arts Kai, Prompto, Argentum. Same thing on this side. Then on the back, you got a few cool poses you can get them into along with everyone else. And then the stuff that matters the most, the stuff at the bottom that doesn't matter. But also, the best thing about Play Arts Kai packaging is the fact that you get to open this piece right up here. And you get to see the character right there. Man, he looks beautiful. Sorry, the glare of my light is hitting it. But I want to make sure you guys can see the figure. And oh my god, he looks beautiful, man. I'm ready to get this guy out of here. But also, you get a prompto right there. And you get a little bio on him right there in case you guys don't know anything about the character prompto has a very awesome backstory he's a very awesome character so check him out and i highly recommend you to play this game if you have not played it because it is absolutely incredible morgan i can't thank you enough for getting me into final fantasy for getting me into this character thank you i love you now once again moving on now, one thing I got to mention before I even get into this figure is I want to give a big shout out to my boy Cloud X figure slash Cloud figures. Thank you for this figure. I said I wasn't going to pay $120 for it, and I ended up paying $120 for it. But if I would have got it anywhere else, it probably would have been $130, and I've seen prices for this guy go up to $200, and this is the authentic, so thank you for this, man. $120 is not so bad actually having the real thing in hand, but man... Do I love it because I really love this character and my opinions might be biased. I'm sorry about that. I'm going to try to keep it from being that way, but I really, really do love this character. And one thing I can say about it is I love player. It's kind of attention to detail. Everything about this guy's outfit is spot on from head to toe. Like they've got stuff on the jacket that I want to go back and see if it's in the game or they just added it to make it look cool. Now, one thing I do know is of course, this shirt is in the game, which is awesome, but I don't know anything about the front of his jacket. I just haven't paid it that much attention, but man, look at all that detail. It just looks so sick. They got the bandana on the arm, this little whatever this is called. I don't know what it is, but it looks awesome, man. I just, this figure is so dope. The belt, he actually has a skull on his belt, which looks really nice. Man, the pants just, <laughs> I could brag about this figure all day. That skull right there is dope. I could brag about this figure all day, no joke. And honestly, from head to toe, the boots, boots look extremely well. And one thing I can say about Play Arts Kai is that for the most part, their figures are pretty accurate unless they're doing a variant or something. And I dig that. And they better be for what the hell they price these figures for. They better be almost 100%, if not 100% accurate. And I will say everything about this figure is great, except for the fact they forgot the freckles. But yeah, everything from the looks of this figure is great. I'll put it like that. Now, in terms of everything else, we'll get into that in just a second. But let's go ahead and see how tall he stands real quick. Now, Prompto stands right at about 
nine and a half inches tall to his forehead and to the top of that sexy hair that he hates getting wet he stands right at 10 inches so pretty tall figure but you guys know that especially knowing play arts kai being taller action figures so yeah ain't nothing surprising but still i love it and i can't wait to see how tall noct is as well and how he fits in scale with him but i'll do that in some size comparisons in just a minute Articulation wise, he does look up almost none at all. He does look down extremely well, as you guys can see. Head, of course, can go all the way around along with the neck, and you can move it just about however you want. He does not have a diaphragm joint in there at all. He does have a very good waist swivel, but as you guys can see, the jacket moves, but this piece right here, it does kind of float around in there, but you have to try to make sure it stays connected to the jacket. Otherwise, it's going to look extremely weird if you post that wrong so yeah his arms go up that much extremely good i really dig that he does not have a swivel in the arm but he does have i want to say double jointed elbows either way it's 90 degrees so it works well his hands are on a whatever you call this a hinge and it's a pretty long hinge by the way but um you can move it just about however you want because they made it to where the gloves actually don't hinder the articulation so that works extremely well that's one thing that i dig his foot goes out our leg goes out that far not very much at all this right here is a soft plastic so watch that you don't want to rub those parts together otherwise they might scratch off the paint his leg doesn't go back at all don't try to force it i'm not because as you guys can hear the joints are clicking from these ratchet joints that i really don't like from play arts kai he does have double jointed knees those bend extremely well he does not have a swivel down here at all his boot goes down about that much extremely well goes up that much until it is hindered by this piece right here he does have really good ankle articulation so ankle pivot does work he does not have a toe hinge so articulation wise he's pretty good it works well for his size and honestly Prompto is not one who is in a whole bunch of poses all the time. He's pretty straightforward, always shooting. And, of course, the boots are going to hinder a lot. So, yeah, works out extremely well. I'm satisfied with it, and I think it's decent enough. Now, for accessories, he comes with two fist hands right in the package, as you guys can see are already on him. I'm not going to move him because he's extremely difficult to stand. He comes with one default head, and I wish they would have gave him one more with his teeth showing because if you guys know Prompto, he smiles all the time, especially when he's taking pictures. Speaking of pictures, I also wish that he would have came with a camera because he does not, but if you play the game, he's always taking photos. He's always asking to stop and take shots, so why not give a photographer his camera but anyway he comes with one trigger hand and this is for his weapon that i'll show in just a second and all of the hands look extremely nice by the way that's not focusing let me see if i can get it to focus focus there we go there's his trigger holding hand as you guys can see much better than what i was just showing he comes with one hand for holding whatever he doesn't come with anything to hold other than his weapon but that is not for this hand and i think you could put like a sword in his hand or something which is kind of cool i'm glad that they included it. it's better than not including it and also he comes with these two relaxed hands so nothing much when it comes to hands just a few sets and last but not least the coolest thing that he comes with is his weapon which is actually a very soft plastic but it looks extremely nice and for those of you who don't know he is a beast with this pistol and man he's probably my most favorite support character of the game but then again like i said big fan of him and this looks so nice just look at all that detail in there man Oh my god, this is this is awesome, man. I really dig this gun. But um, yeah, that's about all on accessories. He does come with a stand, but the stand sucks and it's glued to the package, so I'm not gonna take it out. So yeah, just know he does come with a stand as well. That is pretty much useless in my opinion. So with that said, let's go ahead and move on to some size comparisons. Now for some size comparisons here, he is standing next to the only two figures I have of a much greater scale than 112 scale that I can compare him to. And as you guys can see, Sasuke and Naruto are both towering over him. They're actually making him look small. And Prompto, of course, is a very tall figure. So yeah, I've got just these guys, unfortunately, and one more that I will show. 
Now here he is standing next to Noctis. As you guys can see, Noctis is just a little bit taller, as he should be, because Prompto is the shortest one on the team. But if you see them next to each other, it is hard to tell who is taller. So I really think they got that right, and I'm glad that they did. I can't wait to see how he's standing next to Gladius and Ignis once I get my hands on those guys as well. Now, my final thoughts on this figure are that I dig it a whole lot. It's Prompto. Obviously, I'm going to like it. There's a lot that they did right. And honestly, I can't really think of any gripes that are things that I dislike about the figure simply because I know how Play Arts Kai is. I know how they work. I know the mechanics of their figures and I know the build. So it's pretty much nothing for me to hate. I wish he came with more accessories, but that's not necessarily a gripe more than it is a want. So honestly, I do like this figure. I do highly recommend it. I do highly recommend the game. If you haven't played it, it is a very good game. I've spent almost 70 hours on it. Some people have spent over a hundred, so it's worth it. Plus the new multiplayer expansion has come out and I mean, it's just awesome. These characters are awesome. They're fun. They're great to get to know. And it's just, an experience like no other, I will say, in gaming for me, but I'm not a very big gamer. Also, I forgot to mention that he does have a swivel right there, because it doesn't swivel up here, so it swivels right there, which that's one thing I noticed after I did the articulation, but perfect figure in my opinion. I'm happy to have it. I'm not going to pose it much because I don't really like posing tall figures. It's just one of those I'm going to stand on my shelf and be proud of myself for having. So, uh, yeah, I give this figure a solid... I won't say 10 out of 10. I'd say 9 out of 10, simply because it's Prompto. But, uh, yeah, and one gripe I will say is I wish they would have gave the freaking freckles, man. That's one thing that I... It's small stuff like that that I like. And Prompto, come on, man, the freckles. How do you forget the freckles? That's that's what makes that gorgeous face even more gorgeous. But anyway, not going to ramble on. Like I said, 9.5 out of 10 or 9, whatever I said. I don't know. Hope you guys like the video. Also, I do want to say before I go, this is a very new setup. Um, I'm not good at doing, well, reviewing taller figures, which is probably why my lighting has been off. So it doesn't look bad on my camera, but I'm not sure how it's going to look once I post this video. So I do want to apologize for that. But, um, anyway, hope you guys liked the video. Please give it a thumbs up. That always helps me out. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And as always, follow me on everything you see in the description below. And I'll talk to you guys later. Peace. I want to ride my chocobo all day. I can't get it out of my head.